You've also probably noticed that our universe is quite orderly. Planets and suns are spheres. Galaxies and solar systems are mostly ring-shaped and flat. But besides those, there are also some forms that seem to not fit into this order at all. Some asteroids look like giant potatoes, and even galaxies can take on bizarre shapes. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Shapes in the Universe in the macrocosm, that is, the world of large material parts in the universe, these forms are predominant. Disks, spheres, spirals, and clusters. Smaller parts such as asteroids or moons can also appear quite crooked. So far, researchers have not been able to explain 100% of the legislation behind these forms. It's also not yet clear what forces are at work in the vastness of the universe. We know some of them, but we can only speculate about the rest. Nobody can yet fly out into space and take measurements on sight. Everything is based on calculations and assumptions made from Earth. In the past, it was assumed that everything originated from a single Big Bang and a single point. But a previously unknown force, extremely compressed matter, or the information behind the matter, spread like a large scattering. Within this scattering, Galaxies, solar systems, planets, asteroids, nebulae, gases, and other forms were created. Nowadays, much more is done by a universe that is not fed by one source, but by many. Presumably, the physical forces acting within the visible universe are not linear either. Albert Einstein already assumed that there are curvatures and arcs within space-time. This means that the primordial substance or matrix of the universe is most likely not even. Anyone who knew where the basic information on the structure of matter, its shaping, and finally its dissolution came from, would very likely have found God, or at least have good prospects for the next Nobel Prize. To explain the shapes of planets and galaxies, we inevitably have to move along an undefined surface. This means that we can only reproduce the effective physical forces and theories known so far. In the beginning, the torque. When planets form, there is a torque at the beginning. This is triggered by the reaction of particles that collide in space. Presumably, other things like gradients in space-time, vacuum forces, and the balance of complex physical forces also play a role. On the one hand, the torque attracts structures and matter. On the other, it gives off forces that cause changes in the direct sphere of action of the torque. Put simply, all of this results in a kind of magnet that attracts dust, gases, or even rocks. These units are not only pulled together by the acting forces, but also compressed and condensed. How they are compressed and what ultimately results from this accumulation is probably a unique event each time. After all, we don't see any planets in our solar system that exist twice or that would be the same. Even stars only look similar at first glance. If you take a closer look at them, they differ in size, density, radiant power, and electromagnetic forces, among other things. This is precisely why space agencies like NASA send probes to the planets. Closer investigations are finally to provide information about the origin, composition, and underlying principles. But instead of presenting uniform solutions, almost every space mission raises new questions. The universe does not yet seem to want to let its secrets be revealed. The Origin of the Spherical Shape It's clear that all larger material accumulations, that is, stars and planets, are spherical. However, almost no known star or planet is exactly a sphere. Due to the rotational forces, the bodies are slightly compressed. Nevertheless, from a distance, they look exactly like spheres to us. The even shape is created by the interaction of mass, density, rotational, and gravitational forces, and the resulting pressure. If you build a snowman or form a snowball, you work with exactly the same forces. You accumulate mass, rotate, and compress it.
there are also lots of bodies flying around in space that are not spheres. These include asteroids. Sometimes these lumps of rock and ice bounce off other shapeless asteroids or round celestial bodies such as planets, moons, or suns. If two potato-shaped asteroids collide, a new celestial body does not necessarily form. The asteroids can be crushed and in the form of many fragments, simply continue to soar through space. However, if certain conditions and gravitational forces prevail during the collision, for example in the magnetosphere of planets, two parts that meet can become a larger celestial body. From observations of Saturn, its rings and modes, we know that the moons were formed by the collision of lumps in the ring system. Saturn's moons Hyperion and Phoebe are such larger aggregations, but they have not yet formed a spherical shape. Perhaps one day they will become round when they have collected more rock within them and become more dense. But back to the planets. Now, quite rightly, you may ask yourself why and how a planet is formed at all. We have to go one step further, to the suns. Planets develop in gaps. A few years ago, the ALMA Space Observatory in the Chilean Atacama Desert discovered an event that astronomers had been looking for for a long time. A newly born star, or rather, a solar system in its early days. HL Tauri is about 450 light years away from the Earth. The finished star is already visible in the center. Clouds of gas and dust swirl around the star. Our solar system would have looked like this a few billion years ago. Again, we see one of the most popular forms in the universe, the disk. Gases and lumps of matter are distributed in a ring around the center. Researchers assume that in the recognizable gaps, the new planets will develop. The fact that matter is pulled into the gaps is most likely due to vacuum forces. The rings that have formed around the new star are material that was left over when the star was formed. How exactly stars are formed is still theory today, like many other things in the world of science. The basic idea is that the elements hydrogen, helium, iron, and a few others fly around freely in the universe until they come together to form clouds. These clouds collect more and more elements and become denser and heavier. At some point, the gigantic gas clouds collapse due to their own gravity. The centrifugal forces and some other more complex physical quantities initially compress the cloud extremely. Compression and rotation generate further enormous forces, which heat up the squeezed cloud more and more. Finally, a nuclear reaction occurs. The hydrogen atomic nuclei move so fast due to the heat that they fuse into helium nuclei. The spherical shape of the suns result from the interaction of gravity and their strength. If the cloud collapses under its pressure, a torque is formed that gathers gases and matter around it in a spherical shape. The disk is formed by the pressure acting on the rotating system from outside, and at the same time, it slows down the enormous speed of the new sun. Scientists like to explain the phenomenon with the pirouette effect. A figure skater accelerates and then starts a tight turn. By closing her arms and compressing her mass, she can accelerate the rotation. When she opens her arms again, the pirouette slows down automatically. The deceleration stabilizes the combustion processes in the sun. The physical forces also stabilize in the perimeter, that is, in the disk, and new celestial bodies, the planets, can form. The Milky Way is flat and dented. For a long time, it was assumed that our galaxy was a uniformly flat spiral. Recent measurements brought something else to light. In fact, the disk is curved and bent in itself. If you draw a cross-section, the axis is bent slightly downwards on one end and slightly upwards at the other. The lines resemble an extremely elongated S. Researchers suspect that the deformation may have been caused by previous interactions with dwarf galaxies. The spiral and disk shape often occurs in galaxies. However, there are also galaxies that look crazy. Some resemble letters or hearts. Again, the more mass a galaxy has, the smoother and more harmonious are the shapes in which it presents itself. 
Crazy shapes are probably caused by collisions or interactions of two galaxies. The even disk shape, on the other hand, allows a simpler organization of the contained bodies. The probability of collisions within the flat system is smaller than with the wild clusters. The entire structure of the universe follows complex laws of symmetry, harmony, and the balance of physical forces. When one force prevails, another is influenced. Movements set chain reactions in motion. The role of black matter, or empty space, is still unclear. There is growing evidence that this space is anything but empty or meaningless. What is certain is that space still holds a lot of riddles, surprises, and fascinating images in store for us. How did you like the video? Do you think there is the one force behind everything, or the god particle that can explain the structure of the entire universe and the creation of all these fascinating forms? If so, what could such a world formula look like? Let us know and share your ideas with us through the comments section.